Hello world, Topless Cat Lady here. For this video, I kind of just wanted to have like a verbal diarrhea of thoughts. <laughs> I really just wanted to, to chat. I'm gonna be honest, ever since um, Jasmine and Dean left back in August, I have had like no contact, like face-to-face -face contact with people until last week and so that was like a good two months of not talking to anyone and I don't recommend that <laughs> so I just wanted to chat about traveling and why traveling can be really really lonely I know that I'm sort of an exception because I enjoy being alone and I choose solitude 90% of the time but this has also been a recurring theme for when I was in the military. Basically, when you're in an environment or a lifestyle where you're moving a lot or the people around you are moving a lot, it's really hard to maintain good relationships of substance. And I started thinking about all of the people that I've met over the years, like when I was in the military and the people I've met here and how some people you just like click with right away and you become really good friends for a short amount of time and then you leave or they leave and it's not the same anymore. I always hold a special place for the women I met in, in, in boot camp and in the military. They were some of the most amazing friendships that I had but but after we went our separate ways, you know, the communication sort of dies down. People start living their own lives. Granted, I'm not the best at trying to keep up, trying to keep in touch with people, but I have noticed that other people are, are the same way, so it's not all on me. <laughs> but more recently, I read a blog post about how traveling is kind of like, it's kind of the loneliest job there is because at the end of the day, it's just you. You might be in an isolated place where it literally is just you, or you might be in a city like where I am and it's still just you because a traveling lifestyle is so, so impermanent. It's so fluid and there's people coming and going and personally during my 10 months here in Thailand, I have met some really amazing people, people that I made friends with right away and I was so happy I met them. But with them gone, it's, it's sad. It's and it makes it really difficult to want to continue putting yourself out there, to continue opening up and making yourself vulnerable to new people just to know that in a certain amount of time they're going to walk out of your life and there's a good chance that you're never going to talk to them again. And Yes, I know there's an argument that that is a source of growth and change and becoming a better human, but it's also a source of, of depression and loneliness. And while for me, I feel like I am more suited for a life of solitude, I don't feel like I can do it 100%. And the past few months have sort of shown that. I noticed that the, the less social contact I have, the more unhappy I am about myself and my life and the less motivated I am. So it's, it's a difficult balance. I know for some people it's easy. You just keep meeting people. You keep putting yourself out there and it's a game and it's a learning experience for everyone. But I, I'd like to believe that it's not like that for everyone. So if there's anyone out there like me that kind of feels like, what's the point? opening yourself up over and over to different people, let me know. Let me know some of your experiences or how you deal with it if you're in a traveling lifestyle. I appreciate you guys letting me do a little bit of a ramble on this topic. It's just been sort of floating around my headspace recently. Good news is I won't be lonely for too much longer. I am going home to the States for the holidays to see my dad and my sister, and hopefully some other family. But then shortly after that, I'm going to go back onto my traveling journey. So I've only got another two months left in Chiang Mai. Then it's off to new and exciting things. If you enjoyed this video, do give it a thumbs up. I appreciate that. 
be sure to subscribe for more videos occasionally, and I will see you next time. Bye!